Hello, and welcome to One Heart Heroes. This is Wade. And this is Cody. See, they trick you because they have the one door up front, but there's actually another doorway back here in the back. Really? Yep. And then That's you got a, a three-up ending. Moon. Yep. That's ba -ba 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 -ba. nice. Oh, God. So, since we were on the subject of Wishbone Pretty last time, right? like, what was it, uh, Jim Henson's Greek mythology? Oh, yeah, that was really good. Like, I can't remember. There wasn't many puppets in there, was it? It was mostly mostly live actors? Uh, I think so. I think the main character was a puppet, and that was it. Was he? I don't remember. I don't remember anymore, but, like, God, I, I watched it so long ago, but I just remember it being good. Like, if anyone, it might still, it might still be on Netflix, actually. No. No? No. Oh, they took it off. Damn. Mm -hmm. Like, I watched all of those, though, when it was on Netflix. It was, like, Jim Henson's Greek Mythology. And I enjoyed it. Like, it was so good. Well, didn't it start out like American Folk Tales or something? There was, like, a specific thing from uh, Greek Mythology. and the, But a lot of them had American Folk Tales and whatnot. <clears throat> like, uh... I swear there was one about, uh... Uh, like a, like a con man, uh, conning death... Yeah. In a poker game? Yeah. Yeah. Because he, like, got uh, Death's corpse bag or something, and he, like, trapped it in him. Or trapped Death in it. Yeah, and then hung it up by the tree. And then no one could die. Depressing. Right? Yep. But, uh, yeah, anyways, there's something similar you to would that. You would think that a world without death would be, like, good, but it's really not. Whenever old people are breaking bones at every step or whatever, and, like, people are so frail... Or someone, like, falls into lava and they can't die. But it, like, gets bad, man. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, right? True. Mm-hmm. I'm still trying to think, though. Like, would you age if death wasn't a thing? Yeah. You'd still deteriorate. Would you? Yeah. Why would you not? Eh, yeah, true, I guess. Yeah, you just would never die. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, come at me, scrub lord. Scrub lord? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <it>, what? <laughs> Bring it, Nubilisk. You coffee drinking neckbeard son of a something or other. <laughs> That's offensive. Coffee drinking? <laughs> res a lot of people do drink coffee. I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> I shaved recently, so I'm no longer a neckbeard. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're still a neck beard. At heart. No. I see the beard on the neck. It's on the chin. Dude, there's stubble all down your neck. That's me being Woo! shaved. <laughs> right, because you don't, uh... You don't use a regular razor. Alright, so... Shit. So, for everybody in the comments... Uh -oh. I want to know, do you shave? Like, whenever I say shave, I don't mean getting one of those pussy electric shavers and... Fuck and you! Going, going, and you're... Such a <laughs> dick. <laughs> and, like, and like, just taking off the top coat. I mean, whipping out the razor, getting the, getting the uh, shaving cream and going to town. Like, I... Just because the one I have right now, it isn't quite as close as the old one that I had doesn't mean it's not shaving like it trims it down to almost nothing almost nothing whenever I shave it's nothing god I have thought about getting a uh, speaking of which one I'm of those a, actual like uh, I'm a part of Dollar Shave Club <laughs> we're not sponsored by them either I don't think that's a <laughs> thing you have to preface man I'm pretty sure everybody knows we're not sponsored but well, we are let me live my dreams <laughs> damn it Oh, pfft. there's the goal right there. <laughs> so everyone, I had to beat that one twice strictly because you'll get a new path whenever you do it this way. Um, but like, I've been thinking about getting one of those barbershop razors. Straight razors? Yeah, straight razors. And uh, using those to shave, honestly. That one's a little too manly for me. I'm a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> I go from like, pussy electric razor to too manly razor. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. I guess I've got no in between also shave with cold water. Whenever you flush. Well, you're supposed to. Right? That's what I thought. Yeah. Like you warm up your face, you warm up your razor, and then you shave cold, and then I do, do a, a cold bath afterwards. 
it brings all the little hairs up to the uh, end. Also keeps you from getting ingrown hairs. Fun fact. Because... Right, it keeps you from getting razor burn. Oh yeah, that too. Razor burn to hell! I've really never had real bad razor burn. I have. Yeah? After I use your shitty Dollar Shave Club uh, razor. That is not true. That is wonderful and those people are wonderful. You just have a sensitive face. See? Baby faced McCarty. <laughs> Cause he wasn't I, a, cause he wasn't manly enough because to up it and, I like and get quality. used to a real razor. Just because I like quality razors. They are quality. Mean, you can't prove that. I can. Like, man, that's the best shave I've ever had, for real. Like, th I'm gonna actually get their um like I've been using their uh butter, their shave butter, which is awesome, by the way. Yeah. But I'm gonna get their actual shaving cream next month. And see what that's like. I'm just saying, Wade, like, I mean, for all I know, you could have been using, like, half-used hobo razors, like, single-blade hobo razors or something, so you're like, oh, this is the best shave of my life. Whatever, I mean, honestly, it's just, like, one of those plastic razors you can buy for five bucks. It's not. I have the executive. Thank you very much. The executive? Yeah. <laughs> it's the best shave in the world. Yeah? Yeah. There's another way that you can beat that, but you don't have to beat it that way. I'm still over here marveling at the best shave in the world thing. Comment. Yeah, man. It is. It's amazing. I love those razors. Like mm -hmm. for a razor that's not a straight razor, because I have heard that a straight razor is the smoothest shave you'll ever have. Yeah. Um, like it's a pretty damn good shave. Like it's the best like disposable razor I've ever used. I guess. Like I've had some that I thought I thought were better. Like my chic uh, quattro. Whenever I had that. Yeah. That was a damn good razor, man. Four blades and smooth as a baby's bottom. Shit, Quattro is expensive, though. It is. Woo. Expensive as hell. Yeah, no. Like, oh, I, by I the think, way. I think these are better. I think everyone. The, I think the butter makes the difference. You can, uh, you can extend your razor head's life by like a month, almost. If you... Uh, get like a little dish of uh, alcohol you can do it with alcohol but uh, uh mineral oil oh gotcha actually uh and you like stick your razor blade in mineral oil like the head of it in mineral oil after you get done every time shaving like you wash it with alcohol and then you stick it in mineral oil and just kind of keep it there like it supposedly will extend your razor disposable razor's life by like a lot because what deteriorates it the most, like, isn't really the use. It's the water. It's, yeah, it's mostly the water in the bathroom because the bathrooms are humid. So they rust and they deteriorate a lot. And uh, you can also sharpen them by uh, getting you, a towel do you think and, anything? like, scraping upwards on the towel and downwards vigorously. Do you think there's anything over there? I don't know, actually. I've never... I mean, go for it. It won't hurt anything. There has to be, there has to be something, right? They wouldn't make it this long otherwise. Well, holy shit. Oh! I've never, I've never, I've never, I've never. Are you sure you completed the game 100%? Holy crap! Holy crap! There's huh. like a ton of one-ups over here. Oh my god! Oh god, One Heart Heroes exclusive. Guys, if you go all the way over on the Secret Fortress, there's more one-ups. <laughs> Things that weigh... This is... We are the first people ever to find this. Subscribe to us because of it. I doubt that's true, but... <laughs> right. Um, are. um... Yeah, like, I heard the thing about the, uh... I think you... Maybe you're the one that told me about the... Yeah. Mineral oil. But that's actually not the only thing that damages... That the water damages, like... Speaking of water damaging utensils... Yeah. Usually, most knives, like kitchen knives, yeah, are damaged by the washing process and not by um, use, everyday really? use. Like you really only have to sharpen your knives once a year. Huh. Yeah. This is from the Almighty. Start sharpening those butter knives. <laughs> this is from the Almighty Alton Brown. Alton Brown, really? Yeah, man. So, like, what he was saying in his little YouTube thing was that most people they stick their knife in the dishwasher and stuff like that yeah and they'll just let it rinse and run well like it gets banged around a lot you got a lot of standing water on your blade and all kinds of bad things for it yeah. so like the best way to clean your blade 
is to get some nice warm soapy water stick it down in there get a nice scrub brush and just scrub it down on one side scrub it down on the other dry it really well like uh -huh. really really well maybe put a little bit of mineral oil on it and then like wipe that off so it's like not dripping or whatever and then stick it back in your cutting block huh immediately after use well most of our pretty much all of the knives we have right now are serrated though so like we can't sharpen them yeah you can sharpen serrated knives not like the kind of type of serrated we have are you talking, a, about, oh, you're talking about the little serrated. itty bitty it's serrated a, yeah the, there's the, there's actually a term for it and i, I can't remember what it is i don't know what it is they call it serrated in like walmart and stuff but it's not actually anyways i've actually got a diagram of uh knives on uh reddit sorry from uh god it was one from one of my favorite uh, favorite subreddits it's uh cool guides are cool guides everyone check it out but it's got uh, all the knives you know kitchen knives flaying knives and just everything uh and tells you like how to use them and what they're all for like uh shoot the knife with like the fork at the end of it yeah if i remember correctly That's, that was you're supposed to use that to cut big meat uh actually it was for like apples if i remember, if I remember correctly what yeah That's, why would you cut an apple with that thing it's to like spear the fruit if i remember correctly or something like that god i have to but then you wouldn't be able to cut it no you like cut it and then you spear it huh. oh no it's tomatoes that's what it was it was a tomato knife really i always thought they were just I'm like brisket almost knives positive but like huh. the actual meat knives like i've only ever seen one of those be used on brisket so like i'll have to take your word for it I could be completely wrong here. Now I would say I will say that all the ones that I've seen Bobby Flay and stuff like that right quick. <laughs> on the cooking channel, like they were always like the big like straight razor, uh, well straight razor, all of the straight bladed kitchen knives. All right, I actually thought about getting a set of those uh, like really nice knives that Alden Brown was like promoting. Yeah, what what like what were they that he was promoting? I have no idea. I would have to look at the video again, but they were, useless? they were some Japanese brand name. They, they're amazing though. Like if they cut anywhere as near as well as what he could cut with, like, oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, like, were they the ceramic knives? Like, do you know no, that much at no, least? No, 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 they weren't ceramic. They were just regular, regular knives. Huh. Yeah. Well, cool. Like, I would love to have a pair of really good knives. I would, but man, I'm so terrified that, like, we would not keep up, like, we would not do the upkeep on them like we needed to. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. That is that is a very fair, yes, okay, the one with the fork at the end is it, a tomato knife. Oh! Yeah, it is a, a small serrated knife that has a forked tip for picking up pieces of fruit and sharp edge for cutting through tough skin. Huh. Yep, so you're just supposed to saw through it and pick it up and eat it with a knife. I wonder why people use that for, like, brisket. Uh huh? Is there another one that's like that, or is that the only one that has the forked tip? Most are, like, car there's carving forks, but those are, like, it's just a big two-pronged fork. Right. You use the whole meat while carving. Yeah. Besides that, I mean... Maybe I'm, maybe really. that's what I'm thinking about. Maybe I'm just, like, merging the two in my mind. Because hmm. it wouldn't make much sense to hold your meat in place with the knife that you're supposed to be cutting with. Let's be honest. True. Decorating oh. knife. Poop. A decorating knife? No. I guess those are serrated knives. I, I thought that there was a different name for them. Oh, the little serrated edges? Yeah, the little serrated edges. I thought there was a different one, like there's slicing knives. Oops. But it's also it's, it says it's serrated. Ah, uh, sixty nine. <clears throat> but uh, it's like the most versatile knife. There is one knife that oh, that's called uh, the Graton Granton Slicer, and it has little holes in it. Then I was always curious why there were little holes in the knife. Is it supposed to be like it lets air flow through so that yes, you can, you can make very small slices. Yep. That's why you put holes in shovels. Right. So like you won't get suction. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a southern thing, by the way. Is it? Yeah, they don't do that up north. What? I figured they would. They don't know about it, and they don't have to dig like we do in the in the muck. Oh, like, true. Yeah. Like in the soupy muck of yeah. the... Like, we had a bunch of guys come down, or come from, like, I think it was, uh... 
Illinois, maybe somewhere yeah. in there. So anyways, they came up and they were like, oh God, this is so hard. And like Ace was like, what are you doing? And they're like, we're digging this hole for the duck blind. And he was like, N no, no, what are you doing? You have a shovel that doesn't have any holes in it. They're like, why would you put holes in a perfectly good shovel? Then it won't hold the dirt. And he's like, you jackass. And <laughs> took the shovel from him, got a drill, and then like drilled three like good like quarter size holes in it, and then gave it to him. They're like, oh holy crap! <laughs> and just you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I can see what their logic is. Why would you drill holes in all the shovel? Yeah, it was all the dirt. That's it. No, you don't. <laughs> Oh, God. You know, I think we'll talk more about random-ass southern things when we get back. All right. Um, this, I think we've hit our time limit for this episode. Woo. And I've broken Woo. my phone screen. I don't know. There was a cut in there. That was me losing my shit slightly because I did, my phone's destroyed now. But that's besides the point, everyone. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing by clicking the little heart in the bottom right-hand corner of the watermark or the big heart on the end slate. Um, there is our spelling for our Twitter account on the insulate as well if you want to tweet at us and uh, leave a comment guys tell us what you think about putting holes in shovels or something else relevant cooking shit, knives shit, shit yeah I would love to hear I would love to hear whoops I'd love to hear somebody's opinion on some good cooking knives some good <laughs> cookware there you go any of our culinary inclined viewers culinary inclined viewers sorry I guess that deserved a nerd <laughs> tilt a little bit all right wait later guys feel the beat everyone problem. that is a trump problem that's a trump problem <laughs> yeah god all right all right so that's a bill gates problem actually <laughs> oh my wi-fi is not reaching to the toilet today